Hello witches, wizards and muggles of YouTube. Welcome back to Tonks Not Dora, my channel all about the amazing Harry Potter and the things that I collect. I've just got back from a 15 night amazing stay at Universal's Cabana Bay in Orlando, Florida. I went for my honeymoon with my brand new husband, Andrew. We got married at the end of September and decided that would be our favourite place to go. So we spent 15 nights there and I bought an awful lot of stuff. So I thought I'd show you a few things, just give you some ideas. If you want to buy them, you can go and buy them when you visit Orlando. Um, I'm not bragging in any way. I did save up for an entire year for this wedding and honeymoon. And it's pretty much going to be our last chance to go. So um, I wanted to go all out this year. And I th think it's safe to say that I definitely did that. So let's crack on with the haul. Now I'm going to show you a few different things, not just from the Wisdom World of Harry Potter, but mainly from Wisdom World of Harry Potter, but also things from other areas of the Universal Parks and from um, restaurants and other companies that are on Universal property. And I'm also going to include stuff from my Hendu, which I had at the um, Harry Potter studio tour in Watford near London. The only reason I'm including that is because there's like three things and you can actually buy those things at the Wisdom World of Harry Potter. So maybe giving you an idea of what it costs in the UK is going to give you an idea of what it's going to cost in the US because they're pretty much the same prices, it just depends on the exchange rate. I'm going to begin with the um, Harry Potter Studio Tour stuff. Like I said, I went there for my Hendu. Um, we all went dressed up and um, I just bought a few things there that I knew I wouldn't be able to get into my suitcase if I bought them in the Wisdom World. So my first item, I saw this and I absolutely knew I had to have it. I had the small version and I knew I wanted to buy it but obviously I wouldn't be able to get it in my suitcase because it is the giant pygmy puff. He's so huge and he's so fluffy and he's about 10 times the size of the original pygmy puff. Um, but I absolutely adore him and he sits on our bed and he's kind of used as a pillow a little bit at the minute. Um, he doesn't have a name unfortunately but I'll give him one one day. Um, He's just literally identical to the mini Piggy Puffs, but obviously ginormous. And he's got his four little feet on the bottom there. And a little squishy face. It cost me about £29, I think it was. Um, so I think they're about 30 something dollars in um, the US. I don't know many people who have to travel that would buy this in the US though. So if you are looking to buy it, I think you can get it in the UK. A lot easier than trying to pack it in your suitcase on the way back. Another thing I bought from the studio tour just because I saw it and I liked the idea of it having hot chocolate in it is this cauldron mug. Um, it has had a bit of hot chocolate in so it's a bit dirty but um, it's just got the two handles and three little feet and then obviously on the bottom you've got the Harry Potter logo. I think this cost me about $12.95 to $14.95. I'm not sure about the, the studio tour prices because obviously I've been using them for a while. Um, but it was in that region and you can get these from the Wisdom World as well and you can also get a bowl version from the Wisdom World which I didn't see at the studio tour. Now the last thing I got from the Harry Potter studio tour was actually a wand. Um, I got this from the Fantastic Beasts collection. It is Queenie Goldstein's wand. Um, I got this mainly because I knew I wanted another wand um, to put in my wand stand and um, at the studio tour they actually have the rights to um, Fantastic Beasts as it was filmed there. I didn't see any Fantastic Beasts items um, in Florida at all so I knew I wanted Queenie's wand so I just bought it and treated myself to it. Um, it just comes in this gorgeous green box with gold details around it. The label is all aged 
Um, it is a noble collection item. If I open it up, it has the material stuff inside it. And this is Queenie's. There you go. Queenie's is just like a gorgeous shell. It twists around, and it's got a little hollow bit there you can put your finger in. Um, got this uh, kind of 20s design gold section underneath the shell and the rest is literally just plain black. Okay now on to the Florida haul starting off in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I know that's what you all want to see first. Um, first of all I'm going to show you my amazing robes. There was kind of a little joke between me and my husband um, he'd say that I wasn't actually a genuine Harry Potter fan because I didn't have any robes and I'd had loads of opportunities to buy them in this country and when I was in the Wisdom World two years ago and I never bought them so I had the extra money this year and I thought why not and I bought my Ravenclaw robes because I am Ravenclaw just like Una Lovegood and Cho Chang they are the, the full adults robes. Um, they are just long black. They have a button fastening in the front. You get your house crest stitched on there. The sleeves are pretty huge and like I said your house colours are on the inside and yes there is a wand pocket there on the inside. The hood is actually huge and long and pointy. It's really difficult actually, it doesn't really stay up when you put your hood up because it's weighted down at the back which is a bit awkward um, but I really love them. I actually lounged around the hotel in them a few times and when I got back home I put them on because I was so cold when I got back to England. I walked around the house in these our first night back. These robes were very pricey, like I said. Um, I think in the UK they're about 70 to 80 pounds. Um, in the US they're 114.95 um, dollars. They then add 6.5% tax on top of that. Altogether, with tax, these robes actually came to 122.43. Not the biggest purchase I made, but one of the biggest purchases I made at the Wisdom World. But I don't regret it at all. Next thing I bought, pretty much straight after I bought these robes, was my head girl pin. I knew I wanted a pin to go on my robes and I didn't like the prefect one. Obviously I'm a bit too old to be a prefect now. So I got the Ravenclaw head girl pin. And it's just blue and it says head girl on it and it's got it's quite heavy and quite thick and really good quality. Um, and I put that straight on my robes as soon as I got them. This pin was ten ninety five. Um, th obviously they add tax on top of that, so it was eleven sixty seven with tax. Next item from the Wisdom World is kind of a an odd thing to buy. Um, we don't have children of our own yet, but obviously we just got married, and next year we'll be sorting out our own house, buying our own house, um, and then of course. We're going to hopefully try and start a family. So my partner saw this in the um, Islands of Adventure Trading Company store and he wanted to buy it for that time. It is a little baby grow onesie type thing. It has a gorgeous Hogwarts crest on it and it's just so tiny. He saw this he said he wanted to start collecting nerdy clothes for our future kids. So this is for a six month old and it was $24.95. Quite pricey but how often can you say you bought your child's baby grow at the Wisdom World of Harry Potter? Whenever we go to the Wisdom World or um, away on holiday in general, um, if somewhere sells Christmas decorations, we will try and get them. Last year I bought um, my other half a very nice Star Wars stocking. I had the intention of buying my own um, Disney stocking, but 
uh, they were just really pricey and at the time I wanted to spend my money on something else. This year I was adamant I was going to get something Christmassy for myself. You'll see um, we've got some ornaments but um, about halfway through our honeymoon uh, we saw a post on Orlando Informer on Facebook and someone had said that they started selling these stockings in the Christmas shop in Universal Studios. Um, so I went over there straight away the next day and picked up my Ravenclaw one. They had every house and they also had a black version which had the Hogwarts crest and they also had a, I think it was a red and got reddish colour and gold which was a platform nine and three quarters one it had the Hogwarts Express on it um, but this is just the Ravenclaw one they're quite small but it's an okay size for me um, there's this kind of velvet material you can see with a silver rope and just kind of like a silver transfer on the boot itself and then you've got um, a stitched Ravenclaw crest on the front there and then on the little hanger you've got a little raven they were really pricey this was 32.95 32.95 and it's quite small but I had the money, I wanted the stocking so I bought it. Another Christmas item we got from the Christmas store in Universal Studios um, was this. It is bunting, I call it bunting. Um, they've called it a house crest banner. Um, it's basically a felt bunting, just a long row of um, all the house flags attached together with a gold rope. Uh, I wasn't originally going to buy this but I bought the stocking and then my other half picked this up and bought this for me. It was a bit pricey and um, again it was $34.95. Haven't actually opened it yet because we won't be using it for a while. We're actually going to be moving back in with my parents soon um, so that we can save for our own um, mortgage deposit. Um, so I'm saving all this kind of stuff for when we actually do move into our own house. Um, but I may put it up for Christmas this year in my parents' house. Now I'm not one to buy ride photos to be honest, um, but when we went two years ago the only ride photo we did buy was um, Escape from Gringotts. So because I got one two years ago I thought I'd get another one this time and they've actually changed the design. It comes in this. Little Gringotts wallet, that's the same wallet that they the old ones came in. The actual photo itself this year is like this. At the bottom there you've just got the, the date that your picture was taken. So I thought it was a nice little souvenir. I'll put it in a frame and put it next to the other one that we had taken. These were about $19.99, something like that. It was 20 something dollars with tax. If you do want a photo from the rides, keep your, um, a, a credit card or some cash in your pocket if you can. They do make you put bags and stuff in lockers and loose items in the lockers. When you get off the ride, that's where you buy your photos and you can't actually get back to that point. If you need to go back to your locker and get some money to pay for the photo, you can't actually get back to um, that section of the um, the ride unless you actually go through the ride all over again. The next thing I got was actually a freebie. It was um, these uh, sweet bags, um, pick and mix bags from the Honey Duke shop in Hogsmeade. I actually just grabbed these. Um, they're just there for free. So I thought I'd grab a couple of those and brought them home and I'm not actually going to use them as sandwich bags or snack bags. Um, for work. I didn't actually buy much stuff from Honey Dukes this year. I did get a chocolate frog but I just got the same card I had before which was Rowena Ravenclaw. I did buy some sweets or candy from Weezy's Wizard Wheezy's. I posted a haul video two years ago and I basically have this time have bought the exact same sweets that I bought that time. Things like uh, You Know Poo which is basically just like Smarties or M&Ms. They are, they are $6.95, so $7 something with tax. 
so it's not really a, a massive spend. Last time we went um, I picked up all of the Skyving snack box items. Um, I bought them individually but the only one that I could not get, it was completely out of stock the entire time we were there last time, um, was puking pastels. So I picked those up this time. They were um, also 6 95 and I'm really disappointed by them, mainly because pastels in the UK are kind of a, a chewy, gelatin, gummy, sweet. So I was thinking there would be something like that and it wasn't until I actually got back to the hotel room that I noticed it says hard boiled sweets underneath. So I gave them a try anyway and I wasn't impressed really. They're just these triangles. They look like they're going to be soft but they're actually rock hard. I did break a little bit off one of them and it, I soaked on that for a little bit and it actually tastes like nothing. It's not flavoured at all, it just tastes like sugar. Very disappointing but at least I have the box to add to the other ones so I've got the full collection. This year I knew I wanted to buy a new lanyard. Um, when I went back in 2015 I actually bought the uh, Halloween Horror Nights lanyard. After about a year the actual clip on it broke and I could no longer use it so I thought I'd buy myself another one this time. So I popped into our hotel um, shop. We stayed at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort again and they have a universal store in uh, their lobby area and I bought myself this Ravenclaw one. This side just says Ravenclaw and it's got the Ravenclaw crest there and then this side is kind of checkerboard and it has little ravens in some of the squares. It does come with a little card holder, ticket holder and it says the Harry Wisdom World of Harry Potter on it. I think all lanyards in the park are pretty much the same price. This was ten ninety five plus tax. Another item I bought at the same time I bought the lanyard actually was this water bottle. I actually play roller derby and I need a new water bottle to take because I have one for the gym but I don't like to keep swapping it between gym bag and roller derby bag. So I bought this one, again from the hotel shop, and it's just quite a thick plastic, and it's got one of these um, koozie things, they kept calling them koozies, um, it's one of those foam sleeves that you put around bottles and cans and stuff, and it just has um, Ravenclaw Quidditch on it. The bottom is rubber, you can take this off to help with cleaning, um, and it just has a straw in the top like that and the the straw goes all the way down to the bottom inside which is good. Then here it just has, this is why I bought it, because um, it has a, a little kind of lanyard clip there so I can clip this onto my roller derby bag. It was $16.95 so a bit pricey again but um, it's going to be used on a regular basis. I definitely wanted to increase my pin collection this trip so I got this gigantic night boss pin. It was $14.95 plus tax. The night boss pin was, is a bit large to wear every day so I picked up this one. It is uh, just the night boss logo which you see on the front of the night boss. This one was $7.95. The last pin I bought is absolutely gorgeous. It is Slughorn's Hourglass. It was $14.95. I will probably wear this unless I'm too afraid to break it. This is the last Harry Potter item I bought this trip and it is the most expensive one. It is Silicon's Hourglass. It is pretty huge. It comes in this, uh, just a plain white box. It's a noble collection item. So it's a white box and it has this sleeve around it which shows you the design. This cost me hundred and sixty dollars one six zero dollars plus tax. I'll quickly show you the actual 
um, hourglass itself. So when you open the box and open the polystyrene, it comes very well wrapped. You get this thick polystyrene box around it and then all these foam pads surrounding it so that it doesn't break. So this is the hourglass, guys. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It weighs a ton. Um, it's made from enamel and I think pewter or some kind of metal. The sand is um, just bright fluorescent green, just like in the film. Um, it is identical to the movie prop. Um, as you can see, it's just the, the snakes have metal heads, green bodies, and then metal tails. This um, timer lasts approximately one hour. Um, I'm not a particular fan of Slytherin or Slughorn himself, but such a gorgeous piece of uh, memorabilia, um, a collector's piece, and I knew I'd love to see this sitting on my shelf. The next item I got is actually another Christmas item. Um, I didn't get this from the Christmas store. I got this actually from the shop that is at the end of the Escape from Gringotts ride. It is just this um, very heavy metal disc. It's red and gold. It has the Hogwarts crest in the centre of it and it just says Hogwarts Railways around the edge in gold. It was 16 95 Good quality, so that'll go on our Christmas tree as well this year. Now on to the general universal items. Um, this next item is another Christmas item from the Christmas store at Universal Studios. We wanted a generic Christmas ornament from Universal Studios that wasn't Harry Potter and we saw these ball balls um, where you can have any design painted on them. We saw this one which is Universal Studios 2017 it's got a few snowflakes on there. It was $17.95 just for that ball ball but then we added onto the back Mr and Mrs Slaney because obviously this is our honeymoon trip so we wanted it to stay Universal Studios, the year, and then obviously our married names. All together with the added calligraphy work, um, it was a subtotal of $23.95 plus tax, so it was $25.51. While we were there, we did attend Halloween Horror Nights. We attended it back in 2015 for the 25th anniversary and we had an absolutely amazing time, so we did it again this year. When we went in 2015, we um, bought the Halloween Horror Nights poster. They sell one every year, I think, and it just kind of depicts the main character from that year's Horror Night. So we had that and we framed it, so we also picked this one up from this year. It just comes in this really thick plastic folder for protection, um, and it has him on it, and it says the Halloween Horror Nights 2017. It was 14 95 so not very expensive. It's actually very good quality. We also decided to buy the pin that went with um, the Horror Nights collection. It's again the, the skeleton um, with some candles next to him. It just says Halloween Horror Nights 2017 on the bottom and his mouth opens and closes. That one was 14 95 same cost as the poster. Not a lot of people know, but Universal actually made the um, Trolls movie and they sell a lot of the Trolls merchandise in their general Universal Studios store on City Walk. And they have a couple of stands that are dotted around the, the waterway. Um, and I found this item for my niece because she absolutely loves Trolls and Princess Poppy. And I just got her this hoodie, this zip hoodie, it's got Princess Poppy from Trolls on it um, and flowers and stuff, the sleeves are pink, got Princess Poppy here and it's actually like a stitched picture so, which is pretty cool and then the hood is absolutely huge um, and it's got flowers on so it, it looks like that you have Princess Poppy's hair. Um, I thought it was just really, really cute. It was very, 
very expensive. 40, 42 95 before tax. After tax, I actually have the receipt for this one. It was 45 75 I also bought a gift for my best friend's son, Oliver. He was my page boy in my wedding, so I wanted to get him something from Universal. So um went to the comic book hero store um, in Islands of Adventure and I found this t-shirt for him. He loves Captain America, so it is just Captain America t-shirt. says Captain America down the side and it just has Captain America's body and shield and then obviously your head goes there. Along the bottom it does say Universal's Islands of Adventure. It costs $22.95. He also loves minions, but he has pretty much all the minion stuff he could have. So um, I just picked this little box of um, minion construction minion construction box candy, assorted flavours. And they're just little pieces of um, candy um, that you can eat, but you can, they're like Lego bricks and you can build them up and make things and then eat them. I got this in the Hotel Universal shop but I think they actually do sell them in the normal Universal store and the Minion store in Universal Studios. They were $8.95 and then from the comic book um, superhero store again I bought him this chocolate bar which is just Avengers and it's got the Hulk and Iron Man and Captain America on it and it's just a milk chocolate bar with popping candy on it it just says Avengers there and on the side it says Universal Studios. That was $3.95 so I thought I'd add that in with his presents. We did actually dine at a few places on City Walk this time like we did last time. One of our favourite places to eat is Bubba Gump's. Um, we love the service there, we love the atmosphere, they're very friendly. Um, you get to answer quizzes on um, Forrest Gump and I'm quite good at those so um, we got pretty much all of them right. Um, so this year I wanted to pick up a t-shirt from there so I decided to go for this one and it's just a plain reddish vintage t-shirt with the Bubba Gump logo on it and obviously it says Orlando at the bottom. This shirt was $22 plus tax. Also on City Walk, you have Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. Um, it was being, it was not even built when we went last time two years ago, so we went there this time. And although the shop is quite pricey, it did we did buy a bar of chocolate, which cost about nine dollars, and it did just taste a bit like cheap chocolate. But the atmosphere was great, and we actually stopped there for dinner one night, and it was actually really good food and really good service. I really liked the design of the building. It's just really quirky. So I went into the store before we went for dinner, and I bought this pin. Um, it just says, Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. Uh, this little enamel section here is green. Um, you can't really see it on camera, but it is green and you can get green, red, brown and blue, I think. And this was $9.95. Another place we really enjoy eating at on City Walk is, of course, Hard Rock Orlando, Hard Rock Cafe. One thing we always do buy when we go there are the pins from the rock shop. One pin we did like was this guitar pick. Um, it is glow in the dark, it has a pumpkin on it and it just says Hard Rock Cafe Orlando Halloween 2017. This one was $14. I also bought one of their World Map Series pins. I don't know if you can see that but it just has um, a crocodile there or alligator, uh, Florida alligator. Um, it has the Florida state in the background, it just says Orlando Florida on it and Hard Rock Cafe above it. That one was also $14. This trip, um, we actually were able to see the Finnish Volcano Bay um, water park. We bought park tickets that included um, Volcano Bay. Um, so we actually visited there one day and it was just torrential rain all day, but it was really warm and there was no lightning in the area, so they didn't close any rides. So 
the park was empty we were soaking wet anyway so we stayed and we had a really good time and we did all the rides in probably about an hour or an hour and a half so we decided to pick up this magnet um, to commemorate that visit and it just says Volcano Bay on it and it's a surfboard and you can see the volcano in the back here I think it was about eight ninety five, something like that okay I've actually just found two final Harry Potter items they weren't actually from the parks from the Wisdom World themselves but I found them at the airport on the way home um, I picked up this um, Harry Potter pop vinyl um, I do collect pop vinyls now and I have the large Hagrid one and I have Snape and now I have Harry he was actually selling for $18 or more in the parks and at my hotel um, in the Universal store so I didn't buy any pop vinyls because they were quite expensive from Universal um, but when we got to the airport and we were waiting by the gate there was um, a news agent type store and we went in and they were selling pop vinyls and he was actually $7.99 bargain so I picked him up and they were also selling these Spectra Specs and they're the actual solid plastic Spectra Specs that Luna wears in the movie and you can't actually get these in the UK anymore and people were selling these on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money um, because you couldn't get them in the UK anymore but they're really heavy, really solid plastic they say Harry Potter on the side there and yeah they just look identical to Luna Spectra Specs in the film these were $14.99 from the same shop that I got the pop vinyl from being that cheap I just had to pick them up and having my Ravenclaw robes now and my Spectra Specs I might just have to go as Luna Lovegood for Halloween this year well that's it for the, the haul um, that's everything I bought from Wizarding World and the uh, Universal Parks and City Walk in general um, we had an amazing time and obviously I spent a lot of money but like I said I did save for it and it was our last chance to go really I hope you liked everything if you have any questions about the items or prices or have any questions about things I might have seen in the park but didn't buy then please post them below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can if you like this video give it a thumbs up go over to my channel Tongue Snap Dora and press subscribe <laughs>